Hi, it's Chris Maddox from thewildwomanproject.com and this month's theme is playing your edge. So we are practicing in circle and in workshops and throughout the month this idea of kind of stepping slowly and steadily outside of our comfort zone. That when we take a step forward, um, maybe there's one foot in our comfort zone and the other foot is standing on new ground. There is a level of activation of mind, body, spirit that's like, oh shit, new thing, right? But we're stepping in the direction of our dreams. This is great. We're alive, we're moving, and we're evolving. How can we reframe nerves? How can we embrace courage as a way to live um, fully? So when we are taking steps in the direction of our dreams, the first step and a place where a lot of people get stuck is they say, well, I don't know what my dream is. And it becomes about um, this idea of intention setting. What is our intention? Intention setting is, for me, a process that involves prayer. So for me, I have an idea. I go, like, you know, I think this would be a really good idea. I just get the, I just feel it. There's a buzzy energy in my body. It feels like the right thing. This feels like a good, like a goal, like a good goal for me. And then I have to ask, right? So if you're applying this to your life, whatever you're faithful to, whether it's your highest wisdom, whether it's God, goddess, mother, the universe, some unexplainable energy, right? To ask is, you know, are you on board with this? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we, we are powerful creatures. We can intend and set an intention and create anything we want. The thing about that is, there's no guarantee that that thing is going to make us happy. And usually we do something because it's going to make us feel good in some way. So a practice is when you have the idea, right? You're like, you have an inclination. Maybe you ha say a prayer, write in your journal about it. Ask, ask. And... Um, with intention setting, we always set intentions in, in circle, and I think it's a really important part of creative process is to, you know, know what you're doing, know where, where you're aiming. But I heard a, a friend of mine, a dear friend of mine, said one of the most beautiful things I've ever heard, and she's actually, her name's Yolanda Batz, and she is a minister at a new spiritual center. She says, um... Hold your intention, but hold it lightly. And I think that's incredibly, those are incredibly wise words. Um, for example, uh, I, about two years ago, I began to yearn for more freedom and more adventure in my life. And I thought that a move to California would be that for me. I didn't realize that that was what I was doing. I just thought I was destined to go to California. It seemed like a good goal. It felt right. Um, I didn't really ask for a lot of prayer on that. I just kind of decided it was a little bit willful, right? Um, and I basically, in a period of two months, completely destroyed my life. And I do not use that word lightly. I destroyed my life and found myself in California. But it did not provide that thing that I was looking for. Right, So I created that intention, did not ask about it. I decided that it was, even though I was getting some information that was like, mm, maybe you should hold off on this or maybe not so much. Or I was getting a lot of feedback. I had decided and I was going to do it and I did it. And that speaks to the power of uh, who we are as human beings, that we can absolutely create whatever we want to create. But we won't necessarily know if that thing is going to make us happy. And then skip forward to where I am now, two years later, I have so much freedom. 
I experience so much adventure and love and bliss and connection and all of the things that I was looking for. And I'm experiencing them geographically in a place that I never even heard of two years ago. Right? You can't, so you can only know so much. And I think a valuable tool to to do is, is something that I learned from um, Danielle Laporte, who teaches the concept, she's an author and a blogger, um, teaches the concept of aiming for core desired feelings. How do you want to feel? Because sometimes we go, I want that new job, and it just becomes all about that job, and I have set my intention, and I have put up my vision board, and I am saying my affirmations, and I am going to get that new job. And then what will often happen is you get the new job and it doesn't feel like you thought it was going to feel. Maybe you thought it was going to make you feel more confident. Maybe you thought it would make you feel more powerful. Um, maybe you thought a lot of things about the way it was going to make you feel. And, and that job did not hold those feelings for you. So the advice that Danielle Laporte gives, which I constantly re-give in my teachings, is start doing how start feeling how you want to feel now so let's play truth or dare for a second <clears throat> this will help you get more clear about using this truth is there a goal that you have right that you have like decided that that is a goal and it's solid and it's a a, a pretty clear vision nothing wrong with that what what is it maybe write it down or say it out loud. Second part of the truth is, how do you think, how have you decided that that is going to make you feel? Like, we're motivated by how we want to feel. So, if it's, uh, the goal is, I know that I'm going to lose 10 pounds. How do you think that that will make you feel? If the goal is, I'm going to get that new job, how do you think that that will make you feel? And write those down. Maybe it's one or two or three ways. My dare to you is do something today that will make you feel that way. If it's adventurous, then go to a new neighborhood, go for a hike. If it's sexy, dance in your living room, go to a belly dancing class, you name it, whatever it is that you want to feel, do something today. It can be small that will make you feel that way. Second part of the dare, take that goal that you have and do whatever feels right for you. Maybe you want to journal about it. Maybe you want to pray about it. Maybe you want to meditate about it. But whatever you need to do to make sure that that goal is in alignment with the wisdom that is within you and whatever guidance that you receive. Okay? So do your thing. Feel the way you want to feel. And, uh, you know, r run, your, run your goal through your guidance system. Okay? So I will see you next week. I dare you to be more courageous and to continue playing your edge. I know I've been hearing so much amazing feedback from you about how this practice is really sort of lighting your fire and uh, awakening you. So if you have not yet started to play your edge, join us. Begin to step slowly but surely and sometimes leap outside of the comfort zone and uh, you might experience a more wild woman-esque inner feeling. So if you are not already on the mailing list, please join it at thewildwomanproject.com. Every Sunday I send you love notes and tips on radical courage, deep faith, and living wildly. So see you over there.